Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Foundation Examination. In this tutorial, we are looking at the sample questions on the chapter 6. Recently, we completed the chapter 6 with all the tutorials on that chapter. And now we are looking at the last most tutorial of this series on ISTQB Foundation Examination 2011 syllabus. Upcoming, we will be looking at 2018 syllabus as well. We have a new release on 2018, so you can expect a new series on 2018 syllabus of the same there are not much differences but obviously we do have some of them so we will take care of that in the upcoming series so do expect a good series on 2018 as well to assist you with the latest syllabus so let's get going with it we have uh, four questions from this chapter so you have four marks to be secured out of 40 from this chapters nevertheless anything can contribute to your passing criteria that is 26 out of 40 so the very first question here is uh, from the uh, you know success factors of using a tool which was the last thing we discussed in the previous tutorial and uh, the question goes for the from the list below which are the recommended principles for introducing a tool to an organization so this is about the recommendation not the selection of the tool so keep an eye on such things and then it was really important so roll out to the tool uh, roll out the tool to the entire organization at the same time now you always go incrementally start with a pilot project yes the second statement is true adapt and improve processes to fit the use of the tool of course the process can be updated for fitting the use of the tool but tool cannot be customized to fit the use of uh, in the process or something so three is wrong Sorry, three is true. Number four, provide uh, training and coaching for the user. Yes, that's one of the good recommendations or practices, success factors. Five, let each team decide their own way of using the tool. Now, that's organization specific standards to be set to use the tool. So fifth is false. Six, monitoring the cost do not exceed the initial ex execution cost. Now, obviously, that is something irrelevant because acquisition cost of a tool would be really low compared to the uh, use of that. All right, you know, because while we use, we have some lot of other recurring costs of the tool, managing the tool and maintaining the tool, and in you know managing the training for the new users of the tools. So obviously, uh, we cannot make such statements at any point of time. Number seven gathering lessons learned from all the teams of course that is required to do uh, any kind of measurements on the tool retirement or time for any kind of improvements of using the tool so putting it all together we have two three four and seven the four statements which are true and the right answer is c where two three four seven is the uh, option which contains the value so this is how you basically deal with these kind of questions where you start marking the question statements given to you with true or false and then you come back with your final conclusion and then you pick the right option from the list. Looking at the next one is which of the following best describes a characteristics of keyword driven test execution tool. So if you remember the second tutorial of this chapter, we have discussed about data driven testing and keyword driven testing in this uh, in that tutorial. So let's look at the uh, answer set here a a table with the test input data of course action word is the synonym for keyword and expected result controls execution of the system under test obviously most probably the a is relevant as of now we look at b actions of the testers are automated using a script that is rerun several times and that's the definition of data driven testing so b is not the right answer Look at C, actions of testers are automated using a script that is run with several set of test input data, which is a parameterization step, which is again like a definition of repetition testing. And it, it is quite similar to B and C, where B is the approach and C is the concept. When you look at D, the ability to log test results and compare them against the expected results stored in a text file, that could be one of the test comparator example. Or maybe, you know, you can call it as a verification step, checkpoint or assertion in any, any automation script. If you're doing automation, you would understand that. And uh, so putting it all together, B, C, D are false. So, of course, we what we recommended A is the right answer. And that's where we have got the keyword driven testing explained in more detail. So A is the right answer. Let's look at the next one. 
which of the following is not a goal of the pilot project for tool evaluation so remember the keyword here is to remember is the word not they say negative that it is not a goal of pilot project for tool evaluation a to evaluate how the tool fits with the existing process and practices yes it is one of the goal of the pilot project b to determine use management storage and maintenance of the tool and testware yes of course this is also one of the objective of the pilot project c to assess whether the benefits will be achieved at reasonable cost yes it is one of the statements or object objective of the pilot project but when you look at d to reduce the defect rate in the pilot project now we do not have any kind of objective when you talk about pilot project to reduce the defect rate now pilot project is all about the tool evaluation or measuring the tool effectiveness but has nothing to do with the reduction on the defect rate but yeah the reason the statements are given like this because you will get conflicted with chapter one where we say that it's always about to reduce or prevent the defects so defect rate should be reduced at any point of time but no when you talk about pilot projects they are specific to tool evaluation and obviously defect rate is not one of the objective to be reduced as a part of pilot project so d is the right answer here looking at the last question of the series and syllabus or the chapter as well a software development and test organization would like to achieve the test efficiency improvement goals listed below where the obviously the listed below is the list of the efficiency improvement which would be best supported by a test management tool so the efficiency improvement steps are given here a enable traceability between requirements test and defects b optimize the availability ability of test to identify failures c resolve defects faster d automate a selection of test cases for execution when you look at these options where b c d are process oriented and if you come to a it is towards the tool respected so when you talk about anyways so right now we have got even if you look at one of the points what we just discussed on that b c d are process oriented and a is tool oriented then obviously a is the right answer but still as we have read about test management tool it comprises of all the entities like management of requirement management of test management of defects configuration management and everything so it becomes really easy if you're making use of a test management tool to have a you know better traceability between these entities or you know resources of the entire application lifecycle management so yes the right answer is a at this point of time for this question so team finally we uh, are done with all the contents all the sample questions if you still have any queries you are free to you know comment below on respective windows respective videos as well and beyond that we'll be coming up with the 2018 syllabus of istqb foundation look ahead to have videos on advanced level as well so we will be having a uh, much more uh, you know interactive sessions and betterment subject to your feedbacks are uh, you know given to me on the based on the tutorials uh, you know viewed as of now and obviously i'll be looking forward to have uh, more people interacting with these videos to have uh, input as well as the learning it can improvise your efficiency of working as well so stay tuned for different tools different series on the tutorials and do comment your queries below so i'll be there to assist you till then take care thanks for watching this is all for now we have more videos coming up on the upcoming tutorials and also on the upcoming chapters of this uh, tutorial so stay tuned for more videos do hit the bell icon for getting notified about the latest videos and in case you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe as early as possible because we'll be having more videos about technologies and testing coming up back after this right after this so uh, stay tuned and uh, till then enjoy learning happy learning take care